lots of you have been asking for another video showing how to use these cosmetic wedges that come from Dollar Tree. You get 28 for a dollar. And this watercolor palette also from Dollar Tree, also a dollar to um, add color to your layouts. So I'm going to do another demo and I'm going to use um, our, the prototypes for our new minis that we have not released yet. Um, but it'll give you an idea of what you might be able to do with them once we do get them in our shop. So here we go. Okay. I'm going to start this layout using our journal rule, which is something we do already have in the shop. And what I want to do is I want to split my page into four rows and I could measure and count. Um, but I don't need to do that anymore because I'm using this journal rule. Um, and all I have to do is line it up with the grid, find the four in the middle here, and it shows me that if I want this into four equal parts divided, all I have to do is look at where the lines in the four column fall and make a little mark. Okay, now that I have my page divided up into four rows, I'm going to get a general idea of where my letters are going to fall for my each for each day and I'm gonna sort of eye up where I want them to fall within the banner that I'm gonna use the banner shape okay now I have an idea of where I want to put my letters in relation to the uh, marks that I made so now I'm going to um, use a waterproof brush pen and put in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, now at this point, I'm going to um, erase almost completely my guide marks just so they don't show through my watercoloring that I do next. I can still kind of see them, so um, basically all I have to do for this next part is line up the mini stencil and take one of these cosmetic wedges. I've already used these. This is dry right now. Um, and I want to very barely moisten the wedge and very barely moisten the paint. Um, the idea is that if you squeeze this, you wouldn't get drops or moisture, like water out of it. So you hardly want it wet at all. That way it doesn't um, warp the paper. And then I'm just going to dab, dab, dab within the stencil. And I like to use multiple colors so that it gives kind of a blended watercolor effect. Um, so here we go. Now, this is the part that, for some reason, I really like, probably because I feel like it saves me a lot of time, and I think it looks fun. Instead of drawing task boxes or using the pen inside the stencil like I normally do, I'm actually going to use um, the same technique to make my task boxes super fast. Here's my layout with my month and year added and my dates to go with my days. Um, and you can see that it's totally dry almost immediately because there wasn't much water on my sponge to begin with. Um, 
nothing bleeds um, while I'm working. Uh, so there you have it. And then, um, again, the minis that'll be available in our shop soon store in this nice little pocket in the front or back of your journal because there's adhesive on the back. And the sponges were a buck and the paints were a buck. And so it, it's a lot of fun to work with and not a huge investment. So I hope you enjoyed.